get elected to that yet. I'm ready for reason to change. They won't get reelected anyway. Okay, I'll call the special meeting to order at this time. Uh, the item, agenda item for our consideration is an agreement between the Coleman Tally and Lowndes County for a mutual easement. Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, I'd like for uh, Chad and uh, Tom to come forward. Both of them have worked on this um, issue, and we are in the last steps of closing this purchase, and um, this is a step that is required according to the attorney. So, Chad. Uh, thank you, sir. The county <clears throat> needs a reciprocal easement for a shared driveway and for underground <clears throat> utilities for the property at 910 North Patterson Street, the county is purchasing and the adjacent property at 908 North Patterson Street. This will allow both properties to use the shared driveway and use any underground utility lines serving those properties. The easement area begins at the North Patterson, Patterson Street curb cut to both properties and extends to the rear property line of both, both properties. This is between the two buildings, the shared driveway. Okay. Commissioners, any questions? Is 908 currently for sale? Yes, sir, it is. So it's vacant right now? Yes, sir. As far as we know. Okay. Now, there's an existing implied easement, correct? Two I'm properties are sharing one easement, which has been going on for how long? Well, I think um, <clears throat> it's been going on for a number of years, how long, I'm not sure, Commissioner, but um, Coleman Tally Law Firm, when I asked if there was a shared drive easement, um, they said no. They just, because that law firm's affiliate owned both buildings, that uh, they really didn't need one, and uh, I, I suppose the old expression about the cobbler's children, it just got passed on uh, down the road time-wise, but uh, with the county buying this property, um, I'm confident the Coleman Tally firm would be reasonable to deal with on a practical level if we didn't have the proposed easement. But we have no idea who uh, Coleman Tally may sell the 908 building to. They may be very cooperative as well, but we just, uh, out of prudence, felt like it was necessary to put a formal easement in place for the shared drive and uh, it also occurred to us that there could be underground utility lines under this driveway. Uh, the surveyor uh, hasn't determined that, but out of prudence, we wanted to get an easement that would cover our ability and the owners of the 908 building to dig up that, that parking lot if, God forbid, they, uh, maintenance crews had to get it underground utility lines. Is this clouding the title on our? Sale. Well, I wouldn't describe it as clouding the title. In many ways, I think it improves the title because uh, whoever owns the 910 building, which is the property the county is buying, they'll take comfort in knowing that they've given up an easement <coughs> for shared use but gotten um, uh, the easement into the 908 property for shared use. Um, if you can, <clears throat> excuse me, envision the curb cut off of North Patterson, the property the county is buying, the 910, it covers about a third of that uh, area headed straight back. The 908 property has two-thirds. Our one-third would really not give enough space except for one lane of traffic. So uh, uh, I think... Our recommendation is that the county move forward with this as an enhancement to the 910 property title. It just seems to me that the seller should bear this responsibility and expense to make us whole. They're selling, they own both properties. Right. They should bear this expense before we close. Well, well I uh, think that basically, <clears throat> Commissioner, is really what what we're doing here. We're doing our due diligence through uh, our closing attorney to make sure that Lowndes County is protected in that agreement with that easement and that it is something that will be now 
into the, the bid, I mean, into the uh, closing documents, something that will be recorded in the deed, and so forevermore, Lowndes County will have access to that uh, shared driveway. Okay. Right, Chairman. Mr. Chairman, it, it is a perpetual permanent easement. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? He answered mine. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, Commissioners, I'll entertain a motion. I move that we approve the easement for shared driveway and for utilities and authorize the Chairman to execute it on behalf of the county. Okay, we have a motion to approve the easement for shared driveway and for utilities and authorize the Chairman to execute it on behalf of the county. We have a second. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, commissioners. Okay. Commissioners, we have no other business. Motion to, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs>